the first task proper. This took place in my lab at my Taskmaster retreat. And for good reason. I'll put this on first of all. I'll be honest, this feels a bit kinky. <laughs> There used to be a guy in my village who used to wear one of these. Is this my task? <laughs> God, I feel like I'm back at school in science lessons. Oh, I really, uh, really need my reading goggles. In the lab, there is a watermelon. Eat as much watermelon as possible. You have one minute. The time starts when you open the door to the lab. I'm allergic to watermelon. Frustrating as I just ate one in my dressing room. I need some kind of carving knife or knife. Let's go for banter. <laughs> 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 Who are we seeing next? We're going to see Ramesh and Tim together. together. I've, I've grouped them and you'll see why. If I throw up, will you weigh it? How far we've come from <laughs> Josh Widdicombe gently spooning melon into his mouth to two oh, psychopaths. Oh, you threw it my, on the uh, floor. My, I mean, you have to eat that's, on the floor. that's my first question to you. There was clearly a table in front of you. Why did you throw it on the floor? Well, well I knew it wasn't going to be like a melon buffet. I, 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 knew, <laughs> I knew it was going to be a whole watermelon, but I just didn't realise that a watermelon was that soft. Like, I thought, in my head, it was, like, rock hard. And then when I threw it, I was like, holy shit, that is... <laughs> that, that has gone everywhere. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> My instinct is that Keys won this. Yes, tell me otherwise. Um, Tim ate 302 grams of watermelon in one minute, and Ramesh ate 301 grams. Whoa! The way I measured it was scooping up and weighing what was left in the room compared to what was in the watermelon, so some of that had been in Ramesh at one point. Fine, so you scooped up Ramesh's vomit. <laughs> so, I mean, it's up to you. There's one gram difference, but also there was a bit, there's a bit of dodgy business with Tim. If you just want to have a look at this. Ah. Oh dear, oh dear. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I love melon. <laughs> How could you possibly, at the end of that task, go, do you know what I fancy? 
I've got with an extra bit of melon, which would mean he was the winner if we count that bit of melon. Yeah, so I didn't weigh that bit because it was in Tim. If you want to subtract nine from Tim's, it would put Rummish in the lead. That's up to you, though. What I find very difficult about it is I'm pretty sure that Tim winked at us as he left. <laughs> Did he wink at us? It's very hard to tell. If it was a wink, it was a bad wink. But um, we can have a look. <laughs> If that's a wink, that's, that's such breathtaking arrogance from Pete. <laughs> I'm going to ask to let the audience decide. Give me a cheer if you think that was a wink. Yeah! I'm taking nine grams off you. <laughs> the winner is Ramesh Ranganathan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Show me the next task. Colour in pens, old school, fat ones. Another day, another egg. Using only the items currently on this table, get this egg as high as possible. Highest wins. The egg must not break. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Get it as high as possible using these items. So I've got colouring pens. Well, why would I use pens? A measuring tape, a scissors. OK. I've just got paper and that's it. Sure you got everything? <laughs> Could have done with a box, really. <laughs> <laughs> So, just to make it clear, they can't break the egg. If they break the egg, they're disqualified, right? That's right, look very okay. clear. One egg and get it as high as possible. Yeah, let's have a look at Ramesh. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> Make that 111. I'm not going to lie, I do think this is done badly. Does it have to stay as high as possible for a certain amount of time? What are you thinking? Throw it up and catch it. Surprise, surprise, Ramesh. <laughs> Not last. Unbelievable. If it's I gonna... caught it, I would have been, it would have been real, a real success story. Oh, God. You're right. Now I've heard your explanation. <laughs> I'm going I'm to make you win this task. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is going to sound a little bit harsh. If it were up to me, you'd be kicked off the show for that. <laughs> Who's next? The poet, Tim Key. Ah, the poet and the egg. <laughs> Sort of thing. Is that? <laughs> Goose. I'm gonna boil it. Nature sellers out. Ah! <laughs> Crafts. Gonna have to go outside. That's promising. Two minutes. Egg. Ah! One minute thirty. One minute ten. OK. How long? 41 seconds. How long? 26 seconds. egg as high as possible. It doesn't have to be at that height for very long. Can I throw the egg in the air? I'm just going to build a crash mat of paper. Oh, hold on. What if I wrap the egg several times in this paper, giving it a bit of protection, and then throw it really high? I, I can't completely judge the trajectories. I'll try and go straight up, straight down. How long have I got left for it? 9.41. Five and a half minutes. OK. So, yeah, the secret, I think, is that when you catch it, you go down with it so it doesn't crack. One minute, Josh. One minute. Ready? I'm really nervous. I'm 
sure you're all thinking the same thing as me. I'm amazed I give a shit, but <laughs> it genuinely is quite tense, isn't it? Yeah, so at this point, Josh's egg got to six metres uh, 80, Frank's got to eight metres. <whistles> Frank's is higher. So Frank is potentially going to clean up here. Should we see if the egg's broke? OK. Ready? No! Oh, it was fine! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind if I'm all right. How did that not break? <laughs> um, didn't work out. I was so confident. I couldn't see anything going wrong. Sadder, the image of you losing your eggy friend or you falling over. <laughs> like I said, years of playing cricket have stood me in good stead. <laughs> so it was a sort of minor miracle. Josh's egg... I mean, I don't know why you threw it again. No, I don't know. I got a kind of rush of blood to the head. The thing with eggs, because they're <laughs> born by birds, that if they land on grass, they're designed not to break. Is this why birds don't wrap them in paper? <laughs> I never thought I would be announcing this score. Three people have failed the task. Josh is obviously the winner. And against all natural odds, in second place, Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> <laughs>